Welcome, this is the Delta Math tutorial. This is going to be covering factoring trinomials when a equals to one. We'll start off by writing down the polynomial, which is x squared plus 19x plus 90. We wanna isolate out our terms. So a is gonna be equal to one. That is the number in front of the x squared, which is the leading term. Then we are going to have our b, which is going to be 19, that's in the middle, which is going to be in front of the x. Then we are going to have our constant, which is just the constant, which is always in the back. Now we want to put in our diamond on our left hand side. It's going to be our b term, which is 19. This is going to be b is going to be equal to two factors that add, that add up to 19. So p plus q. Then we have our constant, which is c equals to 90. This is going to be made up of p times q. Now we want to write out our list of factors. So we have one times 90 that we can use. We have two times 45 that we can use. Uh, three doesn't work. What about five? Yep, five times 18 works. Uh, we have 9 also times 10 will work. Hmm, 9 times 10. That looks interesting. Let's try that. So we have C equals to 9 times 10. That equals to 90. So that worked out. So that checked out. Now let's do this. What's 9 plus 10? <gasps> that equals to 19. That also worked. So our P here is going to be 9, our Q here is going to be 10. So we write it in factored form, parentheses x plus 9, close the parentheses. The other one is going to be x plus 10, close the parentheses. This is now in factored form, so you're all good. x plus 9 and x plus 10. And we did it correctly. Notice that delta math also does this method, x method or diamond method, all right? Good, let's do the next problem. Same process here, we first write out the polynomial, x squared plus seven x minus 30. Let's isolate some variables. A is the number in front, which is one, B, which is the number that's in the middle in front of the x which is 7 and c which is going to be our constant term make sure you see that negative it's negative 30. we put it in our x we want to find b which is 7 two numbers that will add up so q plus p equals to 7 then our c is equal to negative 30. We want to make sure that we're finding two numbers that multiply to make negative 30. Q times P. Let's write out our list of factors. So we have 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 4, 5, 5 times 6. All right. 1 and 30 couldn't make 7. 2.15? No. Ooh, 3 and 10 looks good. Let's try that. So, negative 30. Hmm. How about we put negative 3 times negative 3, negative 3 times 10. Does that work? Yep, that gets us negative 30, so that checks out. Let's add it. Negative 3 plus 10. Oh, that also gets us 7. We got lucky. Perfect. So that checks out. Our P here is negative 3. Our Q here is going to be 10. So we could put it in our factored form. X minus 3, close the parentheses. And X plus 10, close the parentheses. So we have X minus 3 and X plus 10. Submit. Good. All right, we pick the right negatives. There's no way 1 and 30 could have made 7. There's no way 2 and 15 could make 7. 5 and 6 couldn't make 7 anyway. They could either make the number 1 or 11, but they couldn't make 7. All right, let's do one more problem. Nope, this is positive. Let's try to get a negative in here. 
No. Okay, yeah, both negatives. Perfect. All right. Let's do this one. X squared minus 2X minus 8. Our A is our leading term, which is just 1. Our B is our constant. Sorry, B is our number in front of the X, which is negative 2. And C, which is our constant, which is going to be equal to negative 8. Right, we put it in our x method. Then our b is going to be equal to negative 2. We're going to find two numbers that multiply. No, that add, I'm sorry. b equals to the uh, p plus q. And c, which is equal to negative 8, we want two numbers that multiply. So p times q. All right, let's, let's write our list here. We have 1, 8, uh, 2, and four and i think that's about it we're trying to get the number two okay that's good so we have two and four we want one of them to be negatives hmm, which one let's make the negative two negative okay let's try that all right so we have negative two times four that gets negative eight that works let's try b negative 2 plus 4 oh, that gets us a positive 2 that doesn't work uh oh so let's fix it let's redo the problem now but let's put the negatives on the 4 so it's negative 4 right so 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 that works now we add them 2 plus negative 4 oh, that gets us our negative 2 so that worked so our p here is equal to 2 our q here is going to be equal to negative 4 all right so when we write this we can write x plus 2 and x minus 4 close the parentheses all right so we have x plus 2 and then we have x minus 4 perfect submit that there you go so that is everything that you need to know when it comes to factoring trinomial when a equals to 1